Tom, this is a clearly a, a massive uh, and huge uh, payout. The question is, is it the last? There's still, of course, uh, one more of these, these cases with a, a bigger ask even on the table. The company has $4 billion in cash, actually probably now about $3.2 billion. Uh, but what is the impact to you of this? Well, good morning, Andrew. Uh, there's clearly going to be another payout in the Smartmatic suit. Uh, market price has kind of been established for Fox uh, not having to take this to a uh, trial. Uh, I think the bigger implication, though, in terms of uh, management of the company and ultimately if heads are going to roll and whether things related to on-air apologies may need to occur, something that was not a condition of the settlement here, are the shareholder derivative suits that are going to follow. Shareholder derivative suits being when a shareholder sues on behalf of the corporation, uh, officers and directors for transgressions of their uh, duties to the company. And in fact, you could sue third parties that are not directors and officers that could also be shown to transgress their duties to a company. Um, that That is uh, a whole different level of uh, worry for the management and board there, uh, given what has come out. And uh, while I would expect another big check to be written in the Smartmatic uh, uh, case, uh, the implications for shareholder derivative suits here and what flows from that is probably the bigger drama. So uh, before we get to, uh, to Barden, what do you think the future of Fox is then and the future of the management? of Fox, both uh, Rupert, his son Lachlan, and all of the other folks who run the company on a day-to-day -day basis. Tom? Uh, well, I think the uh, implication, uh, as I said, is, is, is probably not going to come from another uh, uh, settlement of this type. Right, but does that mean uh, that they're fired? Do they have insurance against this? Are they being sued for hundreds well, of millions of dollars that they have or don't have? Is Rupert Murdoch I, personally being sued for a certain amount of money based on some of the emails yeah, I mean, that we've seen? What happens in a shareholder derivative suit is, you know, typically uh, directors and officers are both have director and officer liability insurance and are indemnified by the corporation. But when a shareholder sues on behalf of the corporation to effectively pay the corporation back for damages that you created, uh, that indemnity and that director and officer's insurance uh, uh, may well not uh, cover them. And so you're dealing with personal liability issues there, uh, huge potential cost and damage. You're also dealing with settlement implications where the kind of uh, uh, oversight of the company going forward uh, would be at issue. And if oversight of the company going forward is being issued, uh, that's when you could have management changes and board changes and uh, the kind of things that uh, uh, people have been talking about, which uh, right. were not going to emanate from uh, these uh, hey, uh, company right. lawsuits. Hey, Barton, how do you think about this in the context of the, the current valuation of the company and the future of it? Well, look, I mean, they've got um, plenty of cash. Uh, they got a lot of free cash flow. Um, this settlement, a Smartmatic settlement at the same size, that's about a dollar a share after tax. I don't think there's insurance coverage for these particular uh, settlements. And, uh, um, you know, I think that certainly there's going to be more lawyering. Um, you know, they should have professional level uh, attorneys making sure they don't get anywhere close to defaming anyone or anything again, which I think most media companies have figured that out and they can figure it out. Um, you know, the, the issue that Tom speaks to, I think, is a big imponderable. Um, and, uh, um, you know, at this point, it doesn't really factor. And in my view, I've got a neutral rating on Fox. I think the bigger issue is, uh, you know, brands that people love, but a lot of pressure on the pay TV ecosystem. Um, and then these type of things are just the noise that are, you know, in the background that you don't like to have. Hey, hey Tom, I, I've just been wondering if, if there weren't these uh, these additional shareholder lawsuit problems, um, if Rupert could just, if the, if the ratings didn't change one iota from any of this, do you think he'd just leave the status quo? Does, would he make a move? He's been known to just say, I don't care what mainstream media says. I don't care what anyone thinks. I'm Rupert Murdoch. I'm going to do it. I don't think, I'm not convinced he'd make any changes at all uh, because I think they like the rate. They're, they're by, by far and away the most watched cable network. Right. 
Well, all, all cable news ratings are down, but uh, in terms of whether this action has any impact on the ratings of Fox so far, no, you couldn't see any. And no. as I said, there was no implication. So that would he make any changes? Will, will he no, be forced I, to do things? I, I think the tricky issue is going to be the campaign of Donald Trump going forward. That too. Yeah. And how they cover him. Because if uh, wild, untrue statements are made, uh, how they cover that going forward, echoing them versus clearly uh, drawing a line as to what he is saying as a newsmaker versus what they may be saying on air that suggests they are adopting that. I would imagine there will be some uh, new rules going forward in the news division about that kind of coverage, because otherwise they could end up in this same situation again and okay. paying billion dollar settlements okay. going forward is not going to be so we terrible. always appreciate uh, talking to you barton thank you we got to jump